of my time playing football in college and professionally in Canada, I play offensive tackle, both right and left tackle. Football attracted my attention at an early age. Um, growing up, I was always bigger than everyone else. I didn't play, uh, I, actually I played basketball and I was in the band. But it wasn't until I got to high school where I really started playing football. I was blessed to have a great offensive line coach in high school that taught me well and he developed me into a great player. That, uh, I would say, helped me earn a scholarship to Marshall University and that helped like propel my career. I ended up being like one of the top offensive linemen in the state of Florida and in Broward County. Um, my junior and senior year, I was uh, first team all county. Um, my senior year, I was first team all state and I didn't allow a sack my junior or senior year. So, you know, just the love of the game helped like keep me into it because every time you go out on the field, you're taking a risk, you know, on your body and on your health. And going into every battle, you gotta have in your mind that I'm gonna win. I'm not going into a battle thinking, well, what if he beats me or what happened? No, I go in like, I'm about to win. You in my way, get out the way, period. I said another thing that I like about the sport of football is I, football, you know, and a few other sports is a contact sport. And I would say, like, whenever you're not feeling well or you're stressed or somebody make you mad or anything like that, you can go out there and beat somebody up legally, you know, not go to jail and not get in trouble for beating people up. So I would say that's, that's like a plus. Uh, during college, I played for Florida a and University and Marshall University. It felt great uh, winning the Florida Classic and beating Bethune-Cookman, who were undefeated at the time. And so, you know, every, that's an in-state rival. Like, we're the only two black colleges, HBCUs, in Florida. So every year, that's the last game of the season. And people come, all the alumni and people in Florida, people come from all over the world just to see that game. Winning this ring was like, I can't really even explain it, to be honest, because we, we went, through, went through tough times just to get to this spot, and we ended up overcoming the so-called champs at the time. I uh, started my first game for the Edmonton Eskimos. I didn't know what to expect, being that was my first professional game as a rookie and also starting, but you know, all the, like a lot of the vets and older guys made sure I was comfortable going into the game and didn't have too much anxiety or, you know, butterflies, but you always have butterflies regardless of what game it is, your first or your 150th game, you always have butterflies going into the game. But it was a great feeling and I wish I can do it every time. I got injured my second game starting um, after coming back off of a great performance of my first game starting in my career. Um, the second quarter of my second game starting, I got injured. The running back got tackled on the back of my leg while I was going up to make a block on the linebacker. And he ended up rolling on the back of my leg and I ended up tearing my MCL. Oh, I finished, I went back to the huddle and I was standing there, I was like, hold on, man, something don't feel right. And once I felt that, instead of just going off the field, I went back to the line, we ran one more play. Then after finishing that last play, I walked off the field and went to the table and that's when they told me that I may have torn my MCL. Oh, it was devastating knowing that, you know, how hard I worked to get to where I was. I know coming from the school that I came from, uh, Florida A&M, um, like a lot of kids don't really get opportunity to go to the next level. So knowing that the route I had to take to get to where I was at, you know, it was kind of devastating. But you know, everything happens for a reason. 
I had to go through like series of rehab and stuff like that to, you know, get back into walking. I was on crutches for like two to three weeks. I couldn't really walk. And, um, you know, just trying to get range of motion and get some of the swelling down and stuff like that, you know, doing a lot of ice and a lot of stem, a lot of different exercises just to get, you know, some type of strength back into my leg. And um, I stayed around for maybe a month or two after being injured just to rehab and everything like that. Then I was finally released. Um, after maybe, like I said, two months, I was released from the team. Uh, right now, I'm currently enrolled at the university in the Recording Arts degree program. Uh, I felt like, well, since I got hurt, I could use this time to come, you know, better myself as far as music and uh, fully recuperate and be ready to get back on the field when the opportunity presents itself again. I mean, like, I've, I've been in a situation before, like in college, where you have classes, then you have to go to practice and stuff like that. It makes it hard to train, but it's more so how much you want it. Because one thing I always, you know, I stick to is you do what you want to do, like regardless of the situation, you get it done. If you really want to do it, you'll find a way to get it done. So, I mean, I just, you know, schedule it. I schedule my workout aside from my school and my studying, and I just, you know, get it done. And I'm still training, you know, getting prepared for when that call comes and I can be ready to, you know, get back on the field.